Hey guys, Travis are here, and I'm back with Terra Sanity. Now, some of you, since I did gain a decent few subscribers recently, some of you may not know this series. This was something I was doing before uh, Friday Night Funkin' and the Friday Night Funkin' mods. It's a modded uh, Terraria series, and you might want to uh, watch the rest of the playthrough before getting to this point. It's kind of boring, though, because I kind of die a lot. <laughs> I just figured I'd do this to break up the monotony of me constantly doing Friday Night Funkin' mods. A little bit. Anyways, in the last episode of this series, not of Friday Night Funkin' mods, whatever. In the last episode of this series, I took on Eternity Larva. Oh, yeah, a uh, list of the mods. Uh, I'll probably be putting an updated list of the mods in the description here, because I forgot to do that in the episode that I changed the mod list. And so, yeah. But anyways, Eternity Larva from the Gensokyo mod was the last boss that I defeated. And I will be, uh, hopefully, getting ready for the Eye of Cthulhu, because last time I fought the Eye of Cthulhu ended poorly. Alright, let's actually get some action going. Because <laughs> I'm just sitting around doing storage stuff. Alright, let me see what I can do. I could probably explore space, but those frickin' birds always have to mess with me. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Oh, and also there's this glitch that makes it so I fly super fast. Involves the sandstorm boots from Antiaris and the flying carpet. Because <laughs> together they kind of force you know, to move a lot faster. Sandstorm boots is pretty much like the sandstorm of ball, but for a single jump. But pair that with the flying carpet and you keep the momentum. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> oh, and there they go. There they are. Nope. Okay. I don't have the... Alright. Time to... Time to fall. Oh, there was a strange plant there. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with those. Let's see. What else can I do? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. The giant clam mini-boss. I need to take that on. I think I failed against it once so far. I could be wrong. Oh wait, no, I haven't even found the sunken sea yet. That's right. Where's my desert? I forget. Oh, there. Okay. I don't even have any... Oh yeah, and I have uh, I have Halloween and Christmas enabled in this or in this mod pack, just because I like the vanities. Well, some of the vanities, like the reindeer horns from the or reindeer antlers from the uh, Christmas event. I think those are my favorite item from the Christmas event, honestly. Of course, the uh, candy cane pick and hook would be nice to get as well. 
Oh yeah, I remember this arena. The one they failed to light up on the episode on the episode where I took on the desert scourge. If you're not familiar with mods, I recommend you watch the rest of my series in order to get a grasp of what I'm talking about. God, I hate those random beetles. I actually got obliterated by one in one of the episodes. Oh, hey! Nice. Let's see what I get. Let's see what's in this chest that I found. Cloud in the bottle. Okay, it could be useful. I'm gonna need that for the Moab, I think. Red potion. Okay. What does this one do? And please, please don't mess with me up. Oh, great. A whole minute of poison. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to use a potion when I get low. Okay, red potion. Not good. And no, I'm not talking about red's potion, so... <laughs> that one's already bad. Like, really bad. So... What's this hooked up to? Is this to trigger the... Oh yeah, it was meant to trigger the statues, but the wire was broken. Oh, whoa, what the heck was that? <laughs> I'm not used to the redemption stuff as much, so I might not know some things. Redemptive sparks, what the heck? Corpse Walker Priest. I'll be back when, uh, I get, oh, I know. Hmm. What do I want to do now? Oh, yeah, I should probably put my stuff away. Oh, so, oh, oh, hey, I didn't even realize you were here. What do you got in store? Nah, not really that much good stuff. Dynasty Whistle. Yes, that looks ugly with the die. Hold on. <laughs> of course. Why not? Oh, hey, I have enough to... Wait, do I have any gold or platinum? Okay, good, I do. Alright. Because... Oh, where do we go? Oh, my God. 
gold crown. All right. Now, where is the nearest corruption? Over there. Okay. Unless, maybe... Yeah, it's, it's near on the left. But yeah, this is very useful for getting the uh, eggs needed. Plus, the eggs can summon more chickens I can use to get the fried chicken for the quest, so... Oh, crap. Um, you have to put it on all pause so I can avoid these things messing me up. Oh, of course. Oh, an Eldritch, an Eldritch root. Too bad I'm not a druid. Nature can reap too. Increase life regen after killing an enemy and druidic damage increased by 15% when below 50%. The increased life regen after killing an enemy would be pretty nice, honestly. So this might even be useful without, uh, without druid class. That might be useful for like raids, like the uh, goblin army. And I'll go ahead and craft a suspicious looking eye. Uh, I really, really shouldn't. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pro this is probably like a dated meme by now, but when the eye is sus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, back to base. And time to take on probably one of the hardest bosses in the mud pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, wait, no, that's right. I gotta turn off the uh, auto pause. Alright. Here we go. Oh no, he's so fast. So deadly. What am I ever gonna do? <laughs> I find it funny that chicken is worthy of a treasure bag. <laughs> oh, the egg scepter. I almost never get this, even with a summoner character. Oh, and the spirit of life, which is a druid, uh, a druid charm thing. I can go ahead and sell that. That's probably the only thing in this goodie bag that sells for money. Wait, nope, that does too. Do I want the do I want the doge or do I want the chicken? I want the doge. Alright, go ahead and replace the shackle with that. I have to swap this out for this, so instead of more damage, I just take way less damage. Not more damage to the boss, I take way less damage overall. Alright. What kind of potions do I have? Alright. I'm gonna regret this, but here we go. Oh, 
I forgot to swap swing. Alright, here we go. Phase two. This is where thing where, where it hits the fan. That, that was a waste. Ow. Okay, this is actually worth it, worth it to try. That was something. <laughs> I finally took him out. Yes! <laughs> oh, that felt great. <laughs> Alright. The Eye of Cthulhu. <clears throat> that eye. How peculiar. I sensed it watching you more intensely as you grew stronger. Favorite this item to gain night vision at night, or, uh, but you'll have reduced uh, vision at daytime. Alright, Shield of Cthulhu. Um, probably not gonna. Yeah, because it's melee damage, I can't use it. Um, maybe when I'm more prepared, I'll take on the Revengeance uh, mode versions of the enemies. Go ahead and sell this because it's melee. Alright. But that was pretty fun, honestly. Yeah, this uh, sandstorm boot and magic carpet combination is going to be a saving grace for me. Oh my gosh, there are so many fireflies. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this episode's probably gonna be shorter than the others. One, because I've just defeated a boss and I usually end there. I'm, I'm gonna keep going a little longer though. Probably. Oh! <laughs> Oops! I forgot that was a feature. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that was a feature <laughs> where you can actually catch NPCs. I forgot Fargo's does that. Let's see. I guess the rain meter. That's what I want from this. Oh, and I can also get the crimson rod. So that's something. Well, I guess I will probably call this an episode. I mean, the episode's gonna be edited. Uh, I can't speak. The episode's gonna be edited down, anyways. So it's gonna be even shorter than this. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs>